In this video, we will look at how to add web parts to a portal page in Kentico CMS 4.1. All content displayed by the Kentico CMS system is based on web parts. They serve as the basic building blocks of a Kentico portal page. Kentico web parts are standard .NET ASCX user controls that inherit some additional standardized properties and methods from the CMS abstract web part class. This extensibility model allows .NET developers to build additional web parts if needed. If you want to see a great example of this, take a look at the Kentico marketplace. While well, Kentico ships with approximately 200 web parts, in this example, we'll add an editable text web part to a portal page. All content editing is done through the CMS Desk application. Within the CMS Desk application, the page that we want to edit is the Images page on the content tree. Once we select the page, we can then select the Design tab. Design mode is only available for portal engine templates. This is where content editors can do things like add or remove web parts, manage zones, and the HTML layout of the current document. Within design mode, I want to go ahead and add my web part to zone left. I do this by selecting the add web part, and then within the select a web part dialog, I want to select text and then editable text. This will actually add our web part to our portal page. Once our web part is added, we can then go ahead and modify the web part properties that are available for this web part. For our demonstration today, we only want to modify a couple of properties. We want to set the editable region title we're going to call this picture update. We then want to place an H1 tag before our content. And then we want to close our H1 tag at the end. And then we want to save these off. At this point, I've added my web part called editable text into the zone left. However, I would like this to show up underneath the breadcrumbs web part. I can select this within the zone and then just drag it right up underneath and the zone will automatically allow me to move that around. Once I've added my web part, I can then go over to page mode and you'll notice that my web part now exists as picture update and I can just enter some text. This is an update of my world travels. Once I'm done, I want to go ahead and save this. And then I want to see what it looks like. I can then go out to our live site and I can see that it's now available for users to, to review. This concludes our overview of adding a web part to the Kentico CMS portal page.